take the moon's crown back to the broodmother in the apiary. Go at once. Spellbinder, I struggle to keep my thoughts my own. Do you have the moon's crown? I have been abuzz since you left, barely able to contain my emotions. I fear the Shadow Queen's wrath, but I cannot live like this. Do you have the moon's crown? I see it is broken and missing a gem. But it still has much magic within it. Bring the moon's crown into the royal queen's chamber, and let us see if we can master its use. crown into the royal queen's chamber so we can attempt to master its magic. Looks like you picked up a wig. Spellbinder, let the power of the moon's crown flow over me and wash away this crass and brutal form. I am transforming! Spellbinder, I am restored, and yet the blood pounds beneath my antennae. Spellbinder, do you feel that cold wind blowing? Young wizard... Witness a fraction of the power of the Song of Creation. Spellbinder! I must admit, I hope her poison lets you live long enough to experience a truly painful and wretched death.
swallowed by the shadow, and you have saved my spirit a second time. Quickly, use the moon's crown to force me to shed the Shadow Queen's skin. Spellbinder, the good you have done this day is invaluable. A great deal of work remains. The Yellow Jackets are still in the thrall of the Shadow Queen. We must save them. If we can restore the Moon's Crown, you could then wrest control of the Eclipse Tower from the Shadow Queen. From there, you could unravel her spell over Bastion and her control over my people. You need to locate the Crown's missing fragment, a jeweled teardrop called the Moon's Tear. Gluttonous Blotter would know. He's a hideous creature who squats in the Golden Vault, hoarding treasures. If anyone has the Moon's Tear, it is him. Find Gluttonous Blotta in Bastion's Golden Vault and ask him about the Moon's Tear. Gladness Blata. Eh, you ask me for the moon's tear? I will trade it to you. If you get me 42 treasures that I covet, scattered far and wide. Eh, what's that? 
you defeated Cravenly the Hunter, and the Baleful Empress, and the Brood Mother? I, 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 okay, I will tell you, Spellbinder. Don't feed me to the Humongo frogs. The moon's tear was lost in the Abyssal Cave, in Tyrian Gorge, the blackest pit in Chrysalis. Now take your threats and your wand and leave me be. Ask that cold blood Zaltana how to find the Abyssal Cave. Spellbinder, it intrigues me to see you again so soon. The Shadow Queen orders us to watch for a wizard from Wizard City. She said this one pains her and disturbs her composure. The Shadow Queen offers unimaginable reward for any warlord or servant who brings her the wizard's wand. Or head. Either. Both. I admit, I can imagine quite a lot. It is unlucky for me, then, that I know only you, Spellbinder. But no wizards. I assume you delivered the Moon's crown to the satisfaction of the Broodmother. News from the apiary has been limited. Tell me no more. You search for the Abyssal Cave now? It lies deep within Tyrian Gorge. Speak once again to Captain Katorgeral. Return to Captain Kator Jarol. Ask him how to find the Abyssal Cave in Tyrian Gorge. Stink of roach slime. Or is that the smell of Bastion's traitor? Any luck finding Cornelius? No. Pity. Okay. Now why are you back here? The Abyssal Cave. <laughs> you do like to tour the Badlands, don't you? It's very dark in there. Very dark. Crystal geodes might light it up nicely if you crack a few and let them loose. My men like to crunch on them. Good for the gizzard. You'll have to rustle the hundred leggers for him. <laughs> Good luck. Go get some crusted geodes from the hundred leggers. They covet them, so you'll have to wrestle for them. Steak of crystal geodes. <laughs> Actually, uh, they smell pretty good. Give me one. Oh, oh, I hit the spot. Reach the abyssal cave, you'll have to pass through the milk web gate. You remember how sticky that stuff is? Ah, the skyscrapers have a special potion, an unguent, which lets them slip through like slime off a roach's back. Go ask the skyscrapers to give you a vial of unguent. I'm sure they'll hand it over if you give them good reason, no? Tell the skyscrapers you need a vial of unguent. Be firm with them.
Stink of unguent. The abyssal cave lies down a narrow path not far past the milkweb gate. Search its inky depths for the moon's tear. But beware, something terrifying lives in black. Go past the milkweb gate and look for the narrow path that leads to the abyssal cave. Good luck finding the moon's tear. You open the stopper on the bio. You pour the unguent all over yourself. It really does stink. You hope it gets you through the milkweb gate. Ah, the glory of being a wizard. You crack open the crystal geodes. They flare up with a soft light, and you release them to float ahead of you. Shadow Spock, we will not let you pass. Servant of Shadow, the fifth column will never forget and never surrender. The Shadow Queen may have destroyed us, but our spirits still oppose her. Thank you. 
child of shadow. You fight against the Shadow Queen? We took the moon's tear to keep it from the Shadow Queen. We brought it to this terrible place, and it cost us our lives. You may have it with our approval, but it lies deeper down, stolen from us by something ancient and more dangerous. Shadow Fighter, if you free our material remains from the webs, we would be thankful. A dream of light comes here to these plumless depths. A light in the dark. A child under an endless starless sky. I was here before the first world was broken. Ever since Grandmother Raven locked the shadows away. I am named Atlas Lim. Webmaker. Light drinker. Ghost spider. Is it time to shake off the chains of sleep? To stretch my web to the world above? To drink deep of the hot, salty blood? A cold chill runs down your spine as you sense a strange, shadowy aura surrounding this one. What kind of magic will he command?
your light. It burns. <laughs> In the middle of the ghost spider's web, you find a glowing blue teardrop that radiates with moon magic. This must be the moon's tear. Young wizard, you overcame an ancient spirit of darkness and hunger. Very well done, if I do say so myself. Now, you hold a fragment of near-perfect moon magic. But you will have to find a way to reforge the moon's crown so it is whole once more. Spiders. You need to repair the moon scroll. That kind of thing is beyond my expertise. I'm more about digging, blowing things up. You know, uh, burrowers used to be very good at glasswork and crystal making. Perhaps you could capture one and interrogate them. Or maybe you could just ask Elazar Fireblade. Ah, go catch a burrower and interrogate him to find a glass shaper. You should really ask Elazar Fireblade. The tale of your defeat of the brood mother has become legend. Our people still fight the Yellow Jackets, but we have heard the Bee Queen wishes to parlay. Now, what can I help you with? You need an expert glass shaver? I know just the fellow. Chihuly is a brilliant artisan, though touch eccentric. Chihuly Glass Shaper has a shop here in Peppergrass Nook. He will do whatever it takes to hurt the Umbra Legion. Find Tahuli Glass Shaper by his shop in Peppergrass Nook. And who might you be? Spellbinder, you? I can't see much out of this one good eye, but you certainly don't convey much power or grace. What are you pestering me for? You have the moon's crown and need it fixed. Let me see whatever barber you picked up by mistake. Wait, where did you get this? This truly is the moon's crown. Perhaps you are who you say you are. All right, I will help you. But you'll have to help me. I've lost many of my tools. Blue razors stole my shears. Flame legs took my pot furnace. I don't exactly know who you are, but I'll help. Get my shears from the blue razors and my pot furnace from the flame legs. 
Not bad. My tools are not ordinary, as you might have surmised. Good tools are critical. The moon's crown is a relic of the old times. Because of that, we'll need a special fuel to burn hot enough for us to do our work. The night flames in Camp Havoc carry dragon beetle pods. I think they chew on them. You'll need to get a handful. Go to Camp Havoc and get some dragon beetle pods from the night flames. Be careful with those dragon beetle pods. They'll burst into flames if you so much as drop them. We have what we need. I haven't done this in a long time. Not since I received my beauty mark, a gift from the Umbra Legion. Normally, my apprentices do the physical labor, but this requires extreme patience and an experienced touch. It worked! I never imagined I'd see this day. It'd be a small part of history. Now what are you going to do with it? Take it to the Bee Queen? <clears throat> I'd heard rumors that she was no longer a monster. You're doing? All right. I'll trust you. Take the moon's crown to the Bee Queen. Good luck, Spellbinder. Spellbinder, I grew worried about you. You've brought the restored moon's crown? Amazing! Spellbinder, the task before us is to take back the Eclipse Tower. It has been under the Shadow Queen's sway for far too long. If we are successful, we will not only restore Bastia, but deal the Shadow Queen a great blow. Go to the edge of Celestial Lake and use the Moon's Crown at the Carved Relief to summon the Moonlight Bridge. Ascend to the tower. Address the Guardian Spirits within and hope they are eager to shed the Shadow Queen's chains. Without their help, we may never triumph. Go to the edge of Celestial Lake, find the carved relief, and summon the Moonlight Bridge. 
Enter the Eclipse Tower and address the spirits within.